Hi guys, it's Mrs. C and I just wanted to take a minute and show you guys the system that I've come up with for meal planning for our family during the homeschool year that helps me stay on top of dinners and lunches and breakfasts um, and keeps me sane and also feeds my family pretty well throughout the week. So what I did is I sat down and I've been working on this for a couple weeks now. I am not a meal planner first off. I have tried so many different ways to meal plan and I'm terrible at it because I don't like feeling committed. I don't know why. <laughs> Commitment issues, I guess. But I decided that this year I really needed to get organized and I needed to come up with a plan that worked for our family. That way I wasn't scrambling every night, you know, once we got done with school throughout the day and everything to try to figure out what we were having for dinner. So what I did is I printed off this monthly menu planner. I don't know if you can see that very well because it's bright in here. So it's got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's for the whole month's four weeks worth. Um, it's labeled Monday through Sunday, and I just started filling it in with some of our favorite meals and things that I know aren't super complicated to cook and um, chose for Tuesday, which is our community day, to do a crockpot meal because we're gone most of the day. My daughter's starting Taekwondo, so we won't be getting home till 6 o'clock. And wanted to have a meal that was all together in the crockpot and ready to go when we got home. Wednesday we have Bible study, so I needed something that was pretty easy. Clean up. Thursdays I work, so we had leftovers. So what I did is I just sat down and looked at our weekly schedule. And I started figuring out what meals work best for what nights and just spent about a week filling this in and rearranging until I got something that worked really well that wasn't, you know, a repeat of a ground beef meat, ground beef meal <laughs> every night. So um, I filled this all out and what I did is, I don't know if you can see very well, so for our breakfasts and our lunches, they are different every day, but they rotate. This, they're the same thing each week. So every Monday, I know I'm always going to get up and fix um, protein pancakes for my kids because they really like those. On Tuesdays, it's our community day again, so I need something that's pretty quick that I don't have to do a lot with. So I make a big batch of muffins once a month. Um, that their applesauce muffins are really good and freeze them. And then the night before, I pull out however many I need for the kids, and that's what they eat on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, I'm kind of tired because we've had community day, so it's cereal. Thursdays, I work, um, so it's yogurt and waffles. Fridays, we have oatmeal, and Saturdays are eggs and bacon, and Sunday is whatever daddy wants to feed them because he takes care of breakfast for me on Sunday. So that rotates every week. And then for our lunch, we just do you know, basic lunch things. But this allowed me also to put in some vegetables. I wasn't really great about getting vegetables to my kids. So um, I added in some vegetables. And again, we have the same thing every Wednesday. We're always having pizza quesadillas and smoothies and things like that. Then for dinner, we have something different every night, except Saturdays I didn't schedule a dinner because a lot of times we're out or doing something. Or at some point during the week, we ended up having something come up and didn't end up having that meal so I can move that to Saturdays. And Sundays are just sandwiches. We call it sandwich Sunday. So Sunday evenings we just do sandwiches. So then again, if I have the time and I have extra stuff from a meal earlier in the week, I can make that on Sunday. If not, it's just something really simple. So I um, then, got once I got all my meals written down, I printed out all of my recipes everything that I would need for the whole month and put them into a binder in page protectors. So all of my recipes for this entire month are all in this one binder. And then I divided them by week. So I've got my week ones. All my recipes for week one are in here. All my recipes for week two are here. Week three and week four. And then back here are some of our like favorite family recipes, so if we end up having a pitch-in or something like that, any, a recipe that I reference frequently, I put back here, you know, favorite dessert or whatever like that, I put them all in here. So they're all printed out, again, in page protectors. So when it comes time and I look and I'm like, okay, tonight we're having maple pecan pork chops with roasted potatoes and green beans, I just go to, we're on week two this week, go to week two, and I've got maple pecan pork chops right here and my roasted potato recipe right in here so it's really nice because all of them are in one place I don't have to 
go looking for it and I know what I need. And then the next step was I went through for each week and put together a grocery list for each week. Um, so, and I had divided it all out so I knew. And then what I do is I take that and put it in one of these. Grab it. Sorry, that was my knee. I put it into one of my dry erase little um, shop tickets. And we go grocery shopping in my house first, which my daughter really loves to help me with. So go through, mark off what I already have, and then I know what I need from the store. I take this with me to the store. And then I, when I'm done, I just put it in because I know that I'm going to use this again in a few weeks for my grocery list. So, um, so far this is working really great. It's so nice getting to dinner, not only knowing what I'm having, but knowing that I'm having, that I have everything that I need for the recipe. Um, again, like I said, I'm not a meal planner. This is not something I've been good at, but it was this area that I really wanted to work on this year because it's stressful for me trying to not only feed my family, but feed them in a healthy way and not just um, run out and grab something because it's not budget friendly and I'm also trying to be more budget friendly. So what I'm going to do is I'm still working on one more um, grocery list for the last week. I'm just putting that all together and because I want to share with you guys, if you want this, I'm going to make a PDF with all the recipes and shopping lists and my menu plan um available to you guys so that you can print it off and you can use it if you want it if you don't want to use it that's fine some of you i know are like way better at this than i am and have been meal planning for like your whole life and this might seem really juvenile to you but for those of you who maybe are struggling um and this is an area like me that you're wanting to improve in hopefully this will be helpful so i'll try to get that up um, and put it on the bottom of the video in like a dropbox or google docs type thing where you can access all of those. So um, again, the only things you need for this are a binder, and I think this is like a one inch, but you can even do a tinier one, which I might convert over to one of those. Some page protectors and um, a set of dividers if you even want to divide them. I just wanted to because it was easier to find the recipes as I was looking for them. So anyway, this is what I've been doing to help meal plan. It's been going really well so far. Um, if we get through this whole month, and there was a recipe that didn't work really great or wasn't one that the family loved or something like that, then I'll just switch it out. I wrote all of this in pencil so I can just erase it and put something else in. And oh, you probably see colors on there. So I color coded this for myself um, to let myself know like this, the greens, which that one needs to be colored in, but the greens are crock pot meals. So I know that on Monday night, I need to prep those the night before so they're ready to be put in a crock pot um, before we leave for community. Um, and then the other meals are either pork or chicken or um, ground beef. And so they're ones that I need to get maybe get meat out of the freezer, make sure that I have something thawing the night before. So yeah, anyway, that's all. I just wanted to share that system with you guys. I hope it is helpful for some of you. Like I said, I'll try to get that uploaded pretty soon. And um, hope you guys eat well this month then. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.